In this video, we're going to be looking at a new abstract data type, and that would be trees. So far, we've been looking at uh, uh, lists as abstract data types, and uh, these were linear collections. So you would have elements, and they would be structured in this manner, and um, we would have some sort of relationship between them here, or references. And uh, so there would be a previous and next reference between those elements. And then we saw how to implement them in Java, and we talked about uh, linked lists and arrays, um, like singly linked lists, doubly linked lists. And we also realized that there were some limitations to the implementations. So for example, if we were to implement a list as a linked list, um, accessing a particular element in that list would could sometimes take um, a time proportional to the size of, of, uh, of, the, of the list. So the, the larger your list, it would take you longer to access a particular element in that list, For in the case of a linked list. We saw that in a previous video. And also, if it were to be implemented as an array, then uh, adding or removing elements from that array would, would sometimes, in a worst case scenario, be big O of n. So for example, if you had an array in this manner, and you wanted to remove the first element right here, and you didn't want holes in your, in your array, so what, we, what you, you would have to do is shift all of these elements leftwards after you've removed this element. So in the end, you would have um, accomplished almost n operations uh, only to remove an element. And adding an element in the middle sometimes could take just as long. So to get around these limitations, we come up with a new abstract data type. And it's going to be a nonlinear abstract data type for a, a collection of elements. And we're going to call it trees. Um, trees has a tree has a, a number of similarities and differences when compared to a list. The similarities are that um, trees are also composed of nodes or, or elements. So just as in a list we had a bunch of nodes here, we could call them nodes. Um, in a tree we will, we will also have nodes which will be referencing an element or will be containing an element if you want to think of it this way. And um, also they all have one parent, so the nodes will also have uh, some sort of previous um, previous reference. So when we talked about a list and we looked at one element, there was always an element, unless it was the first element or the last element, there was always an element uh, that preceded it, and that would be its parent. And there was only one such, such element. Uh, we could think of it, and as a list it was, it was thought of as previous, uh, here, what we what we refer to it, it is as a parent. So when we look at one particular node, we say that uh, it has a previous or a parent node, which would be preceding it. And um, so these are the similarities. Uh, the trees are composed of nodes, and uh, each node has a parent, unless we're talking about the root node. Um, the differences would be that the next pointer there will be there won't be only one next node. Or rather, we could have multiple next nodes, and we call them children. So when you have uh, a list, suppose we were looking at this particular node, it would have a previous element and a next element. In this case here, uh, in the case of a tree, we would also have one element, one previous element, a maximum of one previous element, but we could have as many next elements as we want. So this is one of the main differences between a, a tree and a list. And we call them we, were, we, we call them children, or the child nodes, of this particular element. And this would be the parent node of that particular element. So what could, what could we think as examples of a tree? Um, a family tree would, of course, be a tree. So you would have the, the parent and the children. And each child would have his own children, so on and so forth. Uh, an organizational chart in, in, a, in, a, in a company uh, would also be an example of a tree. So you would have the manager or the CEO followed by his executives and so on and so forth. Um, a file directory in an operating system could also be thought of as a tree. Uh, you would have the root and then you go on to having other folders or directories until you get to, to files, and a file would be a leaf node. A leaf node is basically the last node in a tree. It doesn't have children. So <clears throat> before we move on to talking about implementation and, uh, uh, and, and other operations that are involved in a tree and abstract data type, uh, let's look at some terminology that is associated with uh, trees.